everybody, it's Danielle. Today I'm going to be doing an updated makeup tutorial using my favorite makeup products. I'm just going to jump right into it because I want to start this video out quick and I really hope you guys like it. If you have any suggestions for me, new video ideas, or you just want to comment, please comment and I'll comment back. So I'm starting out with a damp beauty blender and applying my foundation all over my face. I do fake tan and that's why my face is so pale because I never put it on my face. I only put it on my body. That's why my foundation is so much darker. Now to lighten up under my eyes, I'm using MAC products. I'm using the Matchmaster SPF 15 foundation and the Pro Longwear Concealer. After I'm done applying the concealer under my eyes, I'm using MAC's Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in light to set my concealer. Now to set my foundation, I'm using the Stay Matte Pressed Powder by Clinique in the shade Stay Golden with a big fluffy brush by Morph Brushes. Now for my contour and bronzer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sunny Bunny Bronzer and the Shade and Light Contour Palette by Kat Von D. And I'm using an angled brush and applying it to my cheekbones, my temples, and my jawline. The blush I always use is the Rose Blush Duo by BH Cosmetics. I just use a brush and apply it to my cheeks. Now using a small fan brush and the Becca palette by Jaclyn Hill, I'm going to highlight the high points on my face using the shade Champagne Pop. Now to set everything on my face, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And now I'm finally going to do my eyebrows using a duo brush and dip brow pomade in taupe by Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And now to ensure that my brows stay in place all day, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm just going to fix up under my eyebrows using my concealer and a little brush. And now I tried to film how I do my eyeliner. I'm using the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liquid Eyeliner. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but you can get the gist of it from the video and I hope it helps. And 
now I'm taking my eyelash curler and curling my teeny tiny eyelashes. <laughs> And I currently don't have a favorite mascara, so I just kind of combine a few. And I wear false eyelashes after, so it doesn't really matter how good the mascara is for me. And for my false eyelashes, I'm using my current favorite, and they are from Flutter Lashes. And they are the, I'm pretty sure they're the ones called Intoxicating. And the eyelash glue I use, I got from Dark Swan of Denmark. It dries really fast and it comes with every pair of eyelashes that they have, so that's pretty awesome. And instead of using tweezers like most people do, I just use my hands to put on my false eyelashes. I've tried to use tweezers and I just, it never turns out properly for me, so this is just how I do it. And after I get my falsies on, I just take one of my mascaras and blend them in with my normal eyelashes just to get that effect. And today I chose to wear lipstick. Sometimes I, well usually I never wear lipstick, but I just decided to add it in today. And I am using Faux by MAC. And then I take my highlighting palette again and I just add it under my eyebrows and onto the top of my lip. And then I continue with curling my eyelashes because they're dry now. And that is my complete makeup look and that's usually what I will wear if I decide to put makeup on. And in the description box I'll have all the items I used and all of my other social media. Let me know if you have any suggestions or other videos you want to see. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.